This is what he wrote. We, we have grown to love one another very deeply. We are more than friends, and we are more than father and son. These words, written by the Catholic priest who abused him as a child, have haunted 55-year-old Mark Crawford for three decades. It doesn't go away. It never goes away. It's always there. Crawford says Father Kenneth Martin became a family friend in the late 70s, then began abusing Crawford when he was 15. Him being like a father figure to me versus the torment of the abuse. It becomes very tangled, very complicated uh, for a child. Father Martin was the associate priest here at the family's church. Crawford says the abuse never happened inside this building, but did in many other places. At the rectory where the priest lived, at the boy's house a few blocks from here, and on cross-country trips that the priest would take with the boy. We took a train from Chicago to Denver. And on that overnight train, when I was in a bunk bed, is when he, you know, began touching me. The abuse continued weekly and only ended after Crawford left home for college. But when he returned, he discovered Father Martin had begun abusing his younger brother. That's when Crawford came forward. The statute of limitation had passed to pursue legal charges, but Crawford, still a devout Catholic, wrote letter after letter to church leaders warning them to keep Father Martin away from children. A spokesperson for the Archdiocese of Newark said the church did find sufficient information to support Crawford's accusations. Father Martin was placed on limited ministry not involving children and left the priesthood in 2002. We found Martin, now in retirement, at his home in New Jersey. Hello, are you Ms. Martin? Yes. Hi, you're on camera. I'm a journalist with some questions I'm about sorry. sex abuse allegations I'm you're sorry. facing. I have no comment to you. Do you, can you, are you confirming or denying that allegations? I'm not confirming or denying anything. Do you have anything to say to the alleged victim? I do not. When a child is abused by a Catholic priest, they not only lose trust and all the other things that go with, along with being sexually abused, but they lose their faith. For Crawford, the trauma grew worse when he discovered the church official he had reported the abuse to faced a scandal of his own. Cardinal Theodore McCarrick resigned in July. He's accused of abusing adults and children for decades. How can you still have trust or faith in an institution where at the highest level, these men protected each other. Crawford now leads a group of clerical abuse survivors. He says the church needs reform and victims still need justice. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, New Jersey.